So we as travel photographers face a, a challenge when trying to figure out the best way to carry our camera when going on a trip. Now we all know the normal options which are a neck strap, a wrist strap, or a clip that can go on to your backpack. Now while all, all these options are great in their own right, none of them work specifically for me. And what prompted me to make this video was when I was doing research on the Peak Designs capture clip. I saw this, this uh, device, it's a little clip that clips onto your backpack strap or your belt and has a quick release plate that you attach to the bottom of your camera and you can just pop it in, take the picture and put it back. I loved it because I hated wearing the neck straps when I was traveling. The camera would always, you know, the strap would just chafe my neck and I would feel the weight of the camera and when you're hiking for many hours, this just, it wasn't working for me. So the, so the Peak Design capture clip really sparked my interest. But when I went to look up the price on Amazon, I saw this clip was $70 and that is, was just a little bit more than I wanted to spend. So I thought to myself, what do I have around here that can solve my problem for me without spending all that money? So let me show you what I came up with. Here I have a Black Rapid wrist strap I have um, an S hook, and then you just need your backpack. So let me show you how this works. Put the backpack on, like so. Take your camera, and just screw this on. Like that. Now I take the S clip and I'm just going to go on to this, this piece of metal right here, clip it on, and then I'm going to go down to the top strap and just clip it right there. And then now the camera just hangs like that. And this is pretty sturdy, it's definitely not going anywhere. And now when I want to take the shot, I can just bring the camera up take the shot and it just goes right back down. Now the one drawback with this is that I can't quite bring the camera up to my eye to put it in the viewfinder. It kind of gets caught right here. Now sure I can just slide it up a little bit and get it and then sort of just wiggle it back down. But there's always the option of not using the viewfinder, just flipping open the screen, taking your shot, you're done. So that's one option. Now the other way to do it is instead of clipping on to this metal part here, I could just clip on to the, the strap like this, and then this will hang, and then now I can bring it up, take my shot, put it back down. But the only problem with this is that it's really gonna wave around, and that kind of bothered me a little bit. So like I said, my solution was is to unclip it here and put it a little bit closer and then now when I take the shot, I like I said, a lot of times I don't even use the, the viewfinder, boom, I can take the shot like that. So this is perfect for me because now the camera is not on my neck. It's supported. I can feel a little bit of pressure here on my front chest, but the camera is here. It's out of the way. And when I'm hiking, it's like I almost don't even feel it. And then when I want to take a shot, just bring the camera up, take the picture, and I'm good. Um, this camera here is fairly heavy. This is a, a Sony a7 III with a, a 2.8 to 24-70 G Master lens. This lens is, is heavy. Um, when I was using my Lumix before, that camera was a little bit lighter. I almost didn't even mind wearing that around my neck as much, but once I got this camera, I had to figure out a solution to hold it that wasn't going to put pressure on my neck. Now, I also like this because it's not weighing down here. When I took this clip and I tried to sort of duplicate what the, what the um, Peak Design clip was doing, I just have a little hook right here, this actually put a lot of pressure on my shoulder, on my trap here, which I didn't really take into consideration when I was first evaluating the Peak Design. Now this could work here too, I could just go like this and just leave it here, so if you don't mind, this works great. I mean this hook might have to be this little cloth thing um, right there that I'm 
hooked onto might have to be reinforced. But when I did this, I realized that I wasn't even gonna like the capture clip with the weight of this camera here. So I ultimately decided just to go here and like this. This has worked great for me on so many trips, I can't even tell you. Like I said, I don't even feel the camera here. And then when I wanna take the shot, I bring it up, snap it, and I'm good. So I hope that this video gave you guys some inspiration and some ideas for how to create a way to carry your camera with gear that you have. And again, all of these systems and um, preferences to carry your camera are totally personal. And what works for me might not work for you and vice versa. But I hope that this video just gave you some inspiration to go through some of your gear to solve this common problem. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.